Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And um, we're on to the next one here. This is the Black Trail Vineyard Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon. And now that I'm just not looking at it, there's no vintage on the front. I don't see any vintage on the back. Let's see if we get a little bit closer up of the wine there. And for you, for the me, basically the one viewer. Okay, for the one viewer on Ustream right now, which would be me, um, there's that. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm doing the whole Ustream thing, you know, doing this live. I may try to do this on a more regular basis. But, um, whoa, anyway, so $7.99 at Central Market, uh, another one I bought over there probably a couple months ago. And uh, this is from the, uh, well, I, I keep pronouncing the Aconcagua, but it's probably the uh, Acon Aconcagua, I think it's the Aconcagua valley in chile now it's um there's really no black trail vineyard that you're going to find on the internet uh, other than like on snooth which i'm sorry i think snooth's a little overrated you never find anything really good on snooth at least on like stuff like this maybe like really really well known labels you might be able to find some stuff but not the uh not the uh, smaller stuff anyway um so it's imported by Sir John Imports out of New York, and it's produced and bottled by the uh, Viña San Esteban um, in Chile. Now, if you go to Viña San Esteban's website, they have nothing about this wine. They have a couple other uh, labels that they talk about. So my guess is that um, you know this is somebody's, you know, somebody in Chile putting wine together. They're using this company to to have the, the wine uh, made and bottled, produced and bottled. And then it shipped over here to the states, but um, San Esteban does not actually own the vineyard or the company or whatever the winery. All right, so um, so Cabernet Sauvignon. We're going to assume that it's you know it's a single varietal uh, by the legal definition. There might be some other stuff in here besides uh, Cab, but uh, let's check it out. Now these wines, or this wine's been open for quite a while now. Again, remember, there's not much surface area anyway. But it's been open for quite a while. And just in reference to, uh, to the last one I did, it really started opening up a little bit more. Um, that was this one here, the uh, Hoya de Cadenas. Which, I need to look this up. I have a feeling I've already done a Hoya wine, but maybe not the Tempranillo. Because uh, I seem to remember a website, or no, sorry, I seem to remember an episode called Oscar de la Hoya, Hoyas. But uh, I need to look it up. It might be a different one. Anyway, um, he did open up a little more. On the nose, it's, it's not a whole, I mean, I'm not getting that much, really. It's kind of a processed candy fruit, red fruit, bright red fruits. Um, nothing, spe nothing specific. It's not like I smell cherry or strawberry specifically, but just get that that bright red fruit a little bit. Kind of artificial. It smells a little bit artificial. So again, not much on the nose. So let's uh, let's see how it tastes. a little bit better than those for sure. Mm. 
Well, I'm getting kind of a raspberry type of flavor. Not really expecting that. Um, maybe a raspberry strawberry type of combination. But it's pretty much one dimensional. I don't really get a whole heck of a lot out of this wine. I mean, it's drinkable. It's something that you could It's something you could bring over to somebody's house and not be embarrassed to bring it, um, but it's not—it's not really bringing much to the table. You know, it's—it's it's gonna be one of those things where if you're with a group of people and you're just having a good time and you're just, you want some wine to drink, the wine's not gonna be the central focus. Or it's not gonna be the the main conversation piece. As a matter of fact, it's just gonna be kind of a background, and it's just gonna be like drinking anything else. It's just—it's just something to drink, and uh, if you're having a good time, you're gonna say the wine's good my personal opinion you may have a different opinion okay now we're getting a little more interesting you know how I love the peppers like the green pepper type of stuff finally got a little bit of that but it's not enough for me to sit there and go wow this is 90 point wine um, it's interesting you know I mean it's really actually opening up because it's in the glass. Remember, there's not much surface area there. So the glass is actually opening up some more. Okay, still not much. It's pretty pretty close. You know, for a cab, it's really, really um, light body. I'm not getting that much tannin at all. Uh, from it. Uh, I get some peppers. That's about it. I, I don't really consider it that, I mean, again, it's not horrible. And if you brought it, I mean, for eight bucks, if you bought it and you brought, you know, you're bringing it to a friend's house for, for a little dinner party and you're going to pair it with, you know, and, and any number of foods, it's passable, it's workable, but um, I'd probably, I'd, I'll give it like a an 82. Um, so yeah, I mean it's again not horrible, but it's it's out there, and if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. Um, I, I don't particularly think it's really spectacular. I wouldn't necessarily seek it out again um, if I was in the store. And um, but like I said, you're not gonna it's not gonna be you're not gonna go wrong with it. I'm trying to be nice, eighty two. You know it's it's I feel it's kind of one dimensional. Uh, so I'm not going to say it's like a balanced wine. There's just really not much really going on. It's I got that. It's very light bodied, almost no finish, and it finally got me a couple of green peppers, and and that was it. And maybe some bright red fruit. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a night on that one. Well, not call it a night, but I'm going to finish up on that. Um, as always, thank you for joining in. Thank you for stopping by and and joining me. Um, if you're not watching on the website, make sure you stop by the website. This particular one is not going to any links because I can't find anything. But um, you know, make sure you're stopping by the website. Check the links below all the videos, if they have any. Um, and after I just, the last video, talk, talked about, oh, all my wines recently have links. Yeah, not that one. Um, but uh, stop by, check out everything else on the site. Donate, whatever. Um, and that's going to do it. I will see everybody again.